Gathering, Pastor Maddie here, and we are on week six of our Lenten devotional, where we are walking through the Methodist Book of Daily Prayer, written by our lead pastor, Matt Miofsky. Uh, today, I'm going to kick us off this week by walking us through um, the beginning of our week on forgiveness. Now, I don't have my book with me today. That is something that you might notice, and that's because I've taken photos of today's devotional and all the devotionals this week, and I've saved them on my phone and my computer. And I know that that seems maybe a little bit weird because I have a copy of the book, Um, but something that I realized about myself as we've been going through this devotional is that I have to be very flexible with where and when I fit that devotional in. I'm someone that a rigid timetable doesn't work very well for me and I'll get kind of overwhelmed if I miss it and then I won't get back on track and it becomes this whole thing where I don't actually follow through with the goal that I've set for myself to go through this devotional every day. And so a way to combat that and to work with my brain instead of against it is every day I just take a photo of that day's devotional and I save it on my devices. And when I have a window of time, I can pull it up and I can do it right then. And it takes away the stress of feeling like I have to do it at a particular time. So I just offer that up to you as we come towards the last couple weeks of this devotional and we look toward walking through a devotional moving forward. Um, You know, work with your brain, not against it. If there's something that might work well for you, if there's an accommodation that you can make, if there's something that you can do to make this time um, something that is easy for you to prioritize, I encourage you to do that. Like, do save it on your phone. Find a way to make it work because this is your quality time that you get to spend with God. Um, And so, you know, fit it in however works for you throughout your day. So anyway, that is why I'm doing it off of my phone or my computer. I encourage you to find a way to adapt that works for you if that's something you're seeking. And I am going to start walking us through day one of our week on forgiveness. So our scripture from today comes from Psalm 25 verse 11, and it says this, Please, for the sake of your good name, Lord, forgive my sins, which are many. And here's the reflection that we have for today. Pride so often gets in the way of forgiveness. When we're first faced with the realization that we've hurt someone, many of us respond immediately with defensiveness. We try to justify our actions, convince ourselves that we didn't do anything wrong, or we blame the others for overreacting or misunderstanding. Some of us spend a good deal of our lives dodging and deflecting responsibility for our actions that hurt others. From coworkers who grow frustrated with us, to family members who try to point out our problematic behavior, to friends who grow tired of dealing with us. There's a temptation to see problems with others, but never with ourselves. But forgiveness requires a confession and recognition that sometimes the problem is us. There is freedom in simply naming that we've sinned, admitting that we make mistakes, and recognizing that we've hurt other people. Only when we come clean with God, others, and ourselves is the freedom of forgiveness possible. Mm. Um, I don't know about y'all, but there's a a line in here. Where is it? Um, Forgiveness requires a confession and recognition that sometimes the problem is us. Uh. I needed to hear that because I don't like that line very much. I don't like the idea um, that the problem is me. Maybe you're like that too, right? Um, But I think that it's true. If there's something that I've begun to notice and recognize in my own life, it's that when I'm able to be um, self-aware, when I can acknowledge when I've messed up, when I'm very upfront with my apologies, um, I feel more settled within my own body. I don't feel like I'm carrying around a bunch of like shame and regret and guilt, right? But I've also found that my relationships are stronger. Um, And the communication between myself and those I care about is better because I'm upfront about the things that I feel like I might have done wrong. Um, And so as much as I don't like that line (laughs) that says like, hey, you need to acknowledge when you're the problem, um, I do appreciate it because I think that it's I think that it's true. I think a lot of the freedom of forgiveness comes when we're able to be honest with ourselves and vulnerable even with ourselves about who we are and where our shortcomings might be and where our growing edges are. So um hopefully that spoke to you the way that it spoke to me because that I think was um pretty powerful. So 
I invite you to join me in a moment of prayer as we wrap up our time together today. Let's pray. Gracious God, you meet my mistakes and sin with grace and forgiveness. Remind me today to follow your example by assuming the best in those around me, by speaking honestly to those that disappoint me, by offering forgiveness to those that hurt me, and by reconciling relationships if and where possible. Lord, just as you have forgiven me, embolden me to forgive those around me. Amen. Thanks, friends. Have a great day.